Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. Hello, what's up, what's poppin'? It's me, the Shile, on my last stream of the year, baby. But with that part out of the way, for the people, the many, many, many people that have poked their heads into my streams and have showed up, whether they chatted or not, lurked or not, or whatever, uh, over the course of the year, I am very appreciative of that. Because, you know, a lot of those streams, they did help my numbers go up a bit. They did help my numbers kind of stabilize. Because I believe at the start of this year, uh, my average was like, well, my quote, consistent average was like, like a, like a two and a half. And now I'm at like a three and a half, even though, even though I do think it should be like way higher, but you know, Twitch's average and algorithmic system is garbage anyway because there have been streams where i've had like like multiple of like 20 or so people watching at a time not necessarily chatting but just watching but the stream would be like oh you had an average of three and it's like all these people here but anyway not gonna get into all that a very 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 appreciative of the people who showed up and hung out in stream or however long they decided to and yeah y'all some pretty cool people uh so now with the thanks and congratulations out of the way i want to start this stream recap uh thingamabob with announcing on stream again but in a more in a more formal manner that at the beginning of the month in December I hit 500 subscribers on YouTube so that's pretty cool and then I immediately apply for the partnership program thinking that I wasn't going to get it but then two days later guess who's a YouTube partner so you know that's cool that's awesome actually that's beyond amazing and i was in genuine disbelief that i got it like right away and it has been something that i've been working towards for quite a while and yeah I mean, you're right it, it you have been watching me both my videos and my streams for about six almost seven years at this point which is pretty much just as long as i've been working on all this you know with the streaming back when i only streamed on youtube um back when i only had a ps4 pro to stream off of back when i was making videos off of a ps4 pro and all that and so hitting that after so long was like amazing and i was very very excited about that and well i'm gonna skip a bunch of steps but like next year for sure i i am very very confident that i'm gonna hit that 1k mark and i'll be what some people call a full youtube partner and then people make money off ad revenue too because for right now um i have like channel membership stuff and whatever it's like same thing as twitch kind of however uh unlike twitch i get like 70% of that instead of 50 my channel memberships at the lowest is like three dollars a month so that's tight I do need to set up uh, stream alerts for that when that happens but the other thing in conjunction with being YouTube part and, and thanks Al, I, I really do appreciate that I, 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 I have always been hyping myself like yeah my content is great my content is awesome but seeing other people say that just hits just a little bit different um, but in conjunction with me being a YouTube partner now, uh, starting 
next year when applicable meaning when i stream off my laptop i'm going to make more of a conscious effort to multi-stream here on twitch and youtube at the same time just to get you know more traffic flowing over there because my videos i've n i've noticed have uh been on an uptick ever since hitting partner like they get more views than normal within like a day and then like mellow out over time and whatnot but i'm gonna make more of a conscious effort to do streams over there too because i've noticed in the stream in the youtube streams that i do watch some people actually really really enjoy it when you multi-stream on twitch and youtube at the same time because it's like uh like getting a double dose of your personality at once and because you know stuff doesn't stay on twitch forever unless you highlight it or clip it but if you do a youtube stream it does stay up there forever unless it you know gets dmc or stricken or whatever the fuck anyway i suppose in depth with the whole youtube thing uh, i've already established a good working pattern of getting out at least one video a week whether it be like like something short or something long or a discussion segment or whatever I've done a pretty good job of maintaining that and I'm definitely going to keep doing that next year however I'm going to try and key emphasis on try to do at least two a week given that you know how often I stream and the many things that I touch on in my streams I don't really see it being a problem but where the problem would be at is that I will explain that after the ads roll because they're gonna go in three, two, one. Now, what was I? Right, so YouTube stuff. Um, and I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with the YouTube stuff in a minute, but I do want I do want to try and post up more YouTube things a week. Another thing that I want to do is that I've done quite a few different pieces of content from like the norm that I do because usually more often than not I will upload something gameplay related while talking about something in relation to the game or I'll take a segment from stream usually like a discussion segment part and talk about that and then upload that as a separate video and then ever so often I'll do something a little different right like the video essay that I did earlier this year. Thing people saying, oh, gaming is dead, gaming is dead, blah, 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 and whatever. I want to try more video essays because I I did start working on a Sonic one. I did start working on Devil May Cry one. I want to try and key emphasis on try to do at least one video essay on whatever topic i feel like doing it on uh every say four months or so and so if i manage to stick with that that would be three video essays a year i've come to realize in again i'll get more into this when i actually get the youtube specific stuff with my own little editing style because i tend to be a wee bit of a perfectionist when it comes to that stuff those are gonna take some time and just like with the first one that I did, uh, when I do start working on them, the streaming frequency is going to be reduced a little bit. And that's another thing that I was going to bring up. The problem with the frequency which I'm going to do stuff is that I recently started a new work schedule. Uh, I still work four days out the week. However, I, I got like way more hours now and that eats up a lot of my time. With that in mind, uh, things are gonna switch up like a lot around these parts. So streaming frequency is gonna be different. Video output frequency is going to be different, but I will, I will still stream at least once a week, no matter what. Unless certain things get in the way, like I have an event to go to, I have an event to run, I have an event to work. Or if I'm like sick or whatever. Uh, in those instances, there will be no streams. But otherwise, yeah. With that part out of the way, I want to go over like Twitch related stuff. Uh, I do believe that at the beginning of the year, I was in uh, 
at least like Twitch Twitch follower wise goes, I was in like what my mid to high 200s I want to say and at the time of me saying this I am currently at 300 ooh, 319 oh shit look at me so that's that uh, that's like really 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 cool and while I'm not saying this from like a defeatist mindset but trying to reach twitch partner is probably gonna take uh i don't know another two or so years and i surprisingly enough i had this realization at work the other night i me personally i do care like way more about youtube than i do twitch because i like making videos not to say that i don't like streaming because i do like streaming but i like making videos and having what's called long form or offline or evergreen content like way more than Twitch, because you know, and and I, I've talked about this and she'll get this on streams before. I have like plenty of ideas. I have a hundred and one ideas for Twitch, like at all times. But I, me personally, I prefer doing videos just a little bit more. But like I said earlier. With me now being a YouTube partner, um, I'm going to make more of a conscious effort starting next year that when I do streams off my laptop, they will be Twitch and YouTube multi streams. And the reason I'm specifying my laptop is because, as you know, as most people should know, uh, you can't multi stream on two different platforms on a console at once. That is reasonable because consoles aren't necessarily made to be streaming machines but that kind of sucks right but you make do what you make do with but getting back to twitch uh i've done like sponsorship related stuff this year i've i've broken like concurrent viewer milestones this is pretty cool and Unlike most streamers breaking milestones because of drama, it just happened for me just by, you know, being myself and vibing and playing games and talking my talk and doing my thing. So, you know, that's cool. I mentioned this a while back, but I am still in the process, albeit very slowly in the process, of changing up all my stream visuals. Because last time I talked about this in particular on Twitch, I was saying how like I'm a huge fan of you know Y2K, Neo Y2K, Metal Heart, Glass Heart, Abstract Art, all that stuff. Like you know my just chatting background, my mainstream background, like this stuff. I love this. I live for this. Right? It is the best thing ever to me, artistic wise and aesthetic wise. That 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 is my thing. Right? So, that's going to be a very, very, very slow process. But eventually, eventually, all of my stream visuals are going to change to represent that. And, additionally, um, little bits and pieces of my design, like my VTuber avatar, are going to change to reflect that. Um, and especially like stuff like like um my alerts and my chat boxes or whatever because if i go back to my main screen my main scene real quick like you see all well i'm moving my cursor as if you can see my cursor but like all the glassy looking broken metallic stuff in the background i want things like my chat boxes to look like that i want um like my on-screen like alerts to be representative of that my, an, like an idea that I had floating around is that whenever I get a follower there's gonna be like a glass breaking noise and then you know the name and whatever little image shows up and it blah, blah 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 like that that kind of stuff right I want like my little gold bars to be more akin to you know the red and black glassy stuff and even even stuff like this like 
and I, and I have images stuff I can go over, but if I if I start going through my <laughs> if I start going through my image library of all this, we will be here for like 20 hours, bro. But anyway, I want my visuals and stuff to be more represents more representative of that, right? And so that's going to be a slow burn process, but it'll happen at some point. And if I can't find someone to commission to do that stuff for me then god damn it i'll do it myself somehow but i'll do it myself <laughs> i will figure it out and get it done one other twitch related thing that i want to talk about i do have a homebrew final fantasy DD thing that i set up a long time ago uh the first like long running campaign is on YouTube. It's a nice little playlist. You can listen to it. It's like a hundred plus hours. So have fun listening to all that. I want, and I'm gonna have to find people for this, but I want to do a live Twitch version of that complete with that, with its own, like very particular stream loots cards for it. Uh, so, you know, have like chat interaction with the players in the game and whatever. I want to do stuff like that because I do find myself watching a lot of Dungeons and Dragons streams and tabletop streams and whatever and those are pretty cool I want to do something like that at some point don't know when but it'll happen I'm gonna see more murder mystery stuff yeah I I have been thinking about doing more uh more visual novels on stream because hilariously enough the only visual novel that I've ever played explicitly on stream was the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And that's because, one, I'm a huge Sonic fan, if you can't tell. Uh, two, it was free. And three, it was, oh my god, there is an official Sonic visual novel. I have to play it. So, I was thinking about doing some more visual novels. Obviously, I'm going to have to find some that are... Uh, stream safe outside of the ace attorney ones and you know a couple of popular ones because I've, I've already played those you know and i want to get into visual novels that are new and fresh and whatever and pray that there's a toggle to like disable the r18 stuff but then again it's not like i primarily play visual novels for the r18 stuff because you know i'm a story guy I played most games with a story and whatever. So it is what it is with that. Anyway, it's time for the YouTube side of the, the stream and whatever. So we are going to scroll all the way down to the beginning of me uploading stuff this year. We're gonna go. We're 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 gonna start here, right? So uh, see, I, I started doing a lot of, a lot of different things this year. And, uh, let me know if, um, like the stream FPS or whatever starts tweaking out. I'll try to fix it. But, um, so in no random order, I did... I did... A few collabs, like like me, my myself, person, like organized collabs with some VTubers and whatever this year, um, and then with me establishing my uh my once a week upload kind of thing, that's something that I did this year, and for the first time like ever, I did like dedicated reaction stuff because you know if you've seen my streams before. I am like, no, de depending on the reaction type of video or stream, I'm the biggest react hater out there because a lot of the time, some people just like sit there and add next to nothing to whatever they're reacting to and like get huge off of that which drives me up the fucking wall because I've seen like a lot of people get partnered on plenty of platforms by 
just doing fuck all nothing. But anyway, I did some of those. I, and I'll make a demonstration of this in a minute, but I like really, really upgraded my own, um, like personal editing style. I did like an experimental type of video that I really thought, like I really thought that this was going to do like horribly, but it did way better than what I thought it would. Um, I started doing like more rant, more ranty related stuff. I started taking, uh, and it really started with this one. If I'm going to be honest. Uh, I started taking like my videos and making them into comedic type, not necessarily let's play, but gameplay related stuff. Um, I started doing that with this and I started like going more and more in depth about stuff that I really cared about. And then one thing that I started doing way more consistently is that I was taking, uh, games I would stream off my PlayStation five and turn those into dedicated videos and whatever. Uh, I would take like random ideas from streams, turn those into videos. Uh, and I just go over like a, a myriad of different topics. I kind of. Amazon kind of uh started making a habit of like uploading vods to this channel because i i I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all i can't be fucking bothered to run a regular channel and a vods channel at the same time that i'm just not doing that just, i'm just i'm just gonna keep it a stack with y'all I'm, I'm not fucking doing that um and then i did my first video essay of the year which can, can someone make that 100 views please <laughs> <laughs> Can someone just load that up and make it a hundred for, <laughs> for my own personal satisfaction? <laughs> I did. Whoa. Last time I looked at that, that was at 1.2. That's pretty cool. Uh, more videos, more videos. But like I said, just doing stuff like once a week, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because now, now if we scroll all the way back down this year alone, not God, no, that's says a year ago. I did 83. I uploaded 87 videos this year. That's kind of dope. Uh, yeah, your man's uploaded 87 videos this year. That's pretty cool. And so far, uh, this is my fastest, best performing video, which, by the way, by the way, I had a lot of fun working on this. Uh, and then I said it on uh one of the streams where i was editing that live where i said like i heard the song once and i'm literally taking things that i visualized in my head and putting it into video format and it pretty much turned out one to one to how i saw it in my head it's just that making that a physical reality took like three weeks almost four <laughs> but yeah that's really cool and so let's see if we go to and 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 actually no let me backtrack real quick so i mentioned earlier that uh uh i started doing a bunch of different types of uh videos and content and streams this year uh this being like the crux of everything because i've never made an amv or a GMV before in my life. And so I figured let's have my crowning it my my uh my magnum opus for the well my secondary magnum opus for the year because my first one will always be that video essay. My uh second magnum opus of the year be something that I've never done before. And it turned out pretty doggone well but it's not just this right i've done well i started doing react content for the first time this year um i've done a lot of ranty type stuff but didn't just solely leave it on twitch whenever i started doing more dedicated edited gameplay type of videos i did a video essay for the first time um, I did, uh, like, 
planned streams and turn those into videos. I did a podcast for the first time. Well, as I circle the wrong thing, I did a podcast for the first time. That was pretty cool. I fully intend on doing more of those starting next year. Um, what else did I do that was new? Uh, t- 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 oh, I did my very first sub goal video, and and this is. Well, this was contingent on, you know, hitting the sub goal, first of all, but it got hit. And so I did one of these for the first time. Uh, The react stuff I did. I did my first uh, tutorial type of video for that stream loot service that I use a lot of which, uh, you know, if you're not using it as a live streamer, why aren't you using it as a live streamer? Really cool, really neat. I could have just constantly done the same type of video with like no variation, no difference or whatever, 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 and then just work with that. But because I like trying to change things and challenge myself and see what I can quote break, uh, the skill for myself just kept going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Ads are done and gone. So I don't need that up anymore. Done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and close that too. So as far as dedicated streaming plans are going to go for next year, I I'm obviously going to be streaming a lot of games, right? And the games that I am for sure going to be streaming. And I and I, and I got a list. Let me let me let me pull up the list on my phone real quick. There's there's a lot of games coming out next year, right? But stuff that I am for sure going to be streaming are in no set order kind of but this is stuff that i am going to dream right so we've got yakuza 8 or like a dragon infinite wealth the story mode of tekken 8 that's probably not gonna take too too long but i'm gonna stream that grand blue fantasy relink i've been waiting years for that game and i'm gonna play that uh, Persona 3 Reload, hopefully in the event that Atlas doesn't do that stupid thing that they do, where it's like, oh, haha, you can't stream the whole damn game, or whatever. I really hope they don't do that, but I want to stream that too. Well, not want to, I'm going to stream that too, one way or another. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, that's getting streamed from moment one up until the very end, and I... Pray to God that Sony doesn't do the thing again where they let me, bro. When I streamed it on YouTube, like when it first came out, I was able to stream the entire game except the last chapter where you fight Sephiroth. And that was really, really upsetting. But I'm gonna stream that. I am going to stream um the Legend of Heroes Trails into Daybreak, which is the Kuro no Kiseki games next in the lineup. Uh, I'm going to stream Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, the main story for that. And I will be going through the story on the new class, the new DPS class that's coming out for that. So, I'm going to have to get it to... I know it's going to start at 80, and the MSQ, the story starts at 90. So the first couple of streams is just going to be me like speed leveling that up to where it can do the story and then the story stuff is going to commence, but I'm going to stream the MSQ for that. I'm going to stream the raids, the trials, all that cool stuff that's going to get streamed. Oh, also going to be streaming Lost Soul Aside. That too is a game that I've been waiting for years. But yeah. That's, that is the dedicated list of games that I am going to stream one way or another, no matter what, 
next year. And then whatever gets streamed in between that is whatever gets streamed in between that, you know. And then some stuff I am going to replay. Like, uh, I, I do intend on replaying Final Fantasy X. Uh, whenever Spider-Man 2 gets his new game plus, whenever Like a Dragon Gaiden gets its new game plus, I'm going to restream those. Uh, I am going to stream the next DLC for Final Fantasy 16 when that comes out. Yeah, and then it's whatever from there. Now, that that's the stuff like games and stuff that I'm going to stream. But outside of that, like the other dedicated stream things that I do want to do, uh, I did mention before and in many a video that I am a founding member of an all-black VTuber group called uh, the Melanin Mafia Team Blackout. Uh, I do want to do more stream-related things with them. Definitely going to do more starting next year. I've got a bunch of ideas in mind. Just got to get the ball rolling and lock in with that. Uh, I do want to do more song analysis type videos with that uh, lyrical music that I tried to pull up on stream, but it didn't want to load. Uh, I do want to do uh, more of my podcast thingy thing that I did. I got a, I got a lot of ideas that I want to do and that I'm going to do. And one way or another, it's going to happen and it's going to be fan fantastic whatever else happens over the course of the year next year is whatever else happens